over the many, many, many years that the MLB has been around, we've seen loads of different jersey designs. Some are iconic, some are forgotten, but all have been worn by an MLB team. Well, almost all of them. But in this video, I'm going to talk about my top MLB jerseys of all time. And I'm like 99% sure that I missed some that I used to love when they were being worn, and some that I remember just being iconic. But these were the ones that I could find that popped in my head while I was researching this video. Disclaimer, this is my opinion. If you have your own opinion, put it in the comments below. The way I'm going to be ranking these jerseys is through categories. Home, road, and alternate. As well as honorable mentions. One final thing that is not included are Father's Day, Mother's Day, Memorial's Day, All-Star jerseys, and finally those Little League Classic jerseys. You know, the ones with the nicknames on the back. Also, also, there will be a chart popping up after each category other than the honorable mentions. Now, on to the list. Now starting with the honorable mentions. Any powder blue uniform, Houston City Connect, Angel City Connect, Miami Teal Throwbacks, Toronto Royal Alternates, Cincinnati Red Alternates, Cincinnati City Connects, Philly Cream Alternates, Colorado Purple Alternates, Oakland Kelly Green Alternates, Boston Red Alternate, White Sox City Connect, Miami Black Alternate, Philly's Home, and Yankee's Home. Starting with away jerseys, it's hard to choose top five because most of them are all the same, but here are my top five. Number one, Montreal Expos Powder Blue Aways. This jersey is one of the best away jerseys. The red, the white, the navy, and the baby blue jerseys are the iconic and one of the most memorable Expo jerseys of all time. Number two, Arizona Teal Away. I don't know what it is about this jersey, but the teal on the dark gray makes it look like there's electricity, and I think that's one of the best uses of this electric teal in a jersey. Number three, the Angels Away. It's the red. The red does it here. It's the font. It, it's This jersey's just a clean jersey in general. Number four, the White Sox away. Black, white, and gray. It's monochrome. It looks great. Number five, the Boston away. Red and iconic. Now, on to the home jerseys. And again, it's kind of the same with away. Most of the home jerseys are very similar, but here are my top five home jerseys. Number one, Atlanta home. The piping mixed with the iconic design makes it one, this jersey perfect. There is a reason why this specific jersey hasn't changed in forever, and it is because it is gorgeous. Number two, the Mets 1980s home. I think the stripes down the shoulders as well as the sides of the jerseys make this iconic, as well as this clip of Noah Syndergaard getting ejected. Yeah, we, every, everybody knows, everybody knows what, what's the You know what, you gotta give us Mary, a shot, Okay, listen to me, let me hear what I'm saying, okay? Number three, Blue Jays 1990s home. I remember this as, a, as a, the jersey of success, and the blockier style letters with the old logo makes this jersey iconic and one of my favorite jerseys. Number four, Cincinnati home. The red pops, it's one of the most cleanest home jerseys in the MLB. Number five, Seattle home. I, I like the navy. The navy and the teal do it. It's what makes this jersey special. Finally, the alternate jerseys. I'm going to go in reverse order for this one, so starting with five and ending with one. Number five, Pittsburgh black alternates. I do not care which one you choose out of the two black alternates, they both look like Batman, and Batman is about justice, and he's cool. Overall though, very nice jerseys. Number 4, Miami City Connect. Bright, colorful, creative, I love these jerseys. I also love the hats that are a part of these jerseys. Number 3, Mets Black Alternate. Beautiful jerseys. The orange and the Mets blue match perfectly with the black in the jerseys brings back that 90s and early 2000s look of success. Number two, Washington City Connect. Gray and cherry blossoms. When these came out, I immediately fell in love with these. And the pants, mwah, chef's kiss. And finally, number one, the Phillies Retro Powder Blue Alternates. Perfection, perfection. Powder blue, maroon, and white. The retro shoulder stripes going down the entire jerseys, all the way down to the legs, down to the feet, and the Phillies maroon P logo. Just perfect. And here's the complete list of my top jerseys. Overall, I think it's a great list, but if I'm missing any jerseys that you think should be on the list, please let me know. Please put in the comments below, respectfully. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe. Comment on 
comment on what your favorite baseball jersey of all time is. And if you disagree with me, tell me I'm wrong. I will probably make a part two where I make the worst jerseys of all time. Now, remember, when in doubt, Teddy out.